In today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how to resize your photos using iPhoto. Okay, so what I've done in iPhoto, I've opened up iPhoto and I've selected the photos I want to resize. Then, I'm going to show, I'm going to go to the file menu and select export. From there, you can choose to have your images, when you're exporting them, leave them as the full size they currently are, or you can scale the images to your specific sizes that you want. No matter what, iPhoto is going to do a big favor for you and leave the photo sizing, the hard work, up to them. It's going to keep it at the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. So you can change your aspects to, let's say, 1,050, and it's going to keep it at 788 for the same aspect ratio. But for today, I'm going to just leave it at 800 by 600. And then I'm going to select the export. Now, I'm going to select the new folder. Let's just hit test folder. Hit create. And I'm going to select OK. From there, iPhoto is going to export the photos I want to resize in the size I want, wherever I want them. It's not going to take very long. Once it's done, I'm going to show you how to import these photos right now. Also, as you can see here, these photos were taking up 23.9 megabytes. It's not very much, but if you've got a lot of photos, it can be a lot. So, iPhoto is almost done here. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete button and delete these photos. Now they're gone. To make sure they're gone, you can go to your trash and empty the trash. Don't worry, these photos are not completely gone. You've just exported them. As long as the device you just exported them to is good, you're going to be fine. So go to File. This is how you import the photos. Import to Library. And then you're going to select, see, our test folder, the one I just created. And it's going to have all the pictures I have in there. We're going to select all the pictures from top to bottom. If you don't know how to select a certain amount of pictures, more than one, you select the first one you want up top, hold down the Shift key, and select the bottom one. It'll select multiple photos or objects for you. We're going to hit import. And iPhoto is going to import these photos for us. Okay. Now the last roll of photos has now been reduced from 23.9 megabytes to 3.3 megabytes. Drastic difference and it saves you a lot of disk space. Hope you liked the video. This was today's how-to video on how to resize your photos using iPhoto.